Hi there, Henry here, and in this video you'll learn to create your first email list, then design your web form where people sign up to your email list, and finally you'll learn how to put that web form on your WordPress blog. So let's get started. The first step is to sign up to Aweber. Now, I've been using Aweber since 2007, and they've been excellent. So there are many options out there, and this is not a video about the different options. I, I can just say that I recommend Aweber, and it's one of the most popular options out there, and it does what it says on the tin. And they have one of these $1 trial options going on right now, so you may want to check that out. And if you want to support what I'm doing, you can use my affiliate link, which is henry.aweber.com. So after you've signed up, what you do is you log in to your account and the first page you'll see looks like this and then you'll go to create and manage lists because we have to create your first list in order to use the service and then go to create a new list and then you'll see basic settings and the list name put in something that describes your list so I'm just gonna call this the test list and your list name needs to be unique so if it's in use just put in something extra then put in a simple description of what the list is about and your from name that should be your full name because this is the name that will appear when you send emails to people and it's always better to have your full name there and then your email address. So if you send a newsletter to someone and they reply to that newsletter, this is the address that those emails will come to. And I recommend you use a regular email so when someone replies to you, you can reply back. And if you want notifications of new subscribers signing up, just put in your name and email here and click add. I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm just gonna click on save settings. And then we come to the next page, which is personalize your list. Company name could be, let's, I'm gonna just put in Wake Up Cloud and my website address. I haven't actually seen this branding pop up anywhere, so I'm not sure where it pops up, but I'm, I just wanna put in something just in case. So once that's done, you're basically done with this one. I don't touch any of these. You can play around with these once you've gotten your first list done, but for now, just, Ignore these and let's move forward. Then we come to the last page, which is your confirmation message. So if you're just starting out, I recommend you just go with a pre-approved subject. And I like this one, response required. And then just reiterate what people will be getting with your newsletter. So I'm just gonna put in something really simple, like before I send you the newsletter, I need to make sure that you're not a robot. And this is the email people get when they sign up to your email list. So when they're on your website, they put in their name and email, they click sign up, and the first message they'll get is a confirmation mes message. So they need to confirm before they can get on your email list. And I rec recommend you keep it this way because you can actually turn off the confirmation message and I suggest you keep it on because you'll get higher quality subscribers and just the people that are interested in what you have to say. And I'm gonna leave out the success page in this case. This is something that you can create a custom page on your website so when people confirm they land on this page and you can thank them for confirming and tell them what's coming. But if this is your first time setting up a list, we can skip this step and it won't do any harm at all. Because I've had thousands of people subscribe to my lists and I've never, or I do have a success page now, but I used to not have one. It's not been detrimental to my success. And the key here is to get you to create your list and get going. So that's what we'll do. We'll click save settings. And it seems I forgot the signature. So just put in something there. And I click save again. And you'll see Aweber prompts you what the next step will be. So if you don't have 
this one popping up, I'll just do this manually. So the next step is to create your welcome email, go to messages, follow up, and this is the email people get after they've confirmed. So if you're giving people an ebook or some kind of gift for signing up, this is where you want to link to that or attach it to the email. And I suggest you start off with just a plain text message because sometimes the Aweber HTML template and it can get quite confusing. So just start with a plain text message and put in your subject line, welcome to the newsletter. And here's where you put in everything that needs to be there. Say if you're giving out a report, you can just say, thank you for signing up. Here's the link to your report and then give a link. So you'd obviously want to make that a bit more comprehensive. But once you've done that, just go down, click save. And once you've done that, click next. And just let this be what it is. Click save and exit. Alrighty, so now you have your first follow-up message and this will go out automatically to people who have confirmed. So the next step is to create your web form, which you'll then put on your WordPress blog. So if this prompt doesn't come up, click on web forms, then click on create a new web form. And there's a bunch of really good looking templates here, but I'll just go with the standard one. And if you want to get more people to sign up, I suggest you remove the name field unless you absolutely need it. Because the fewer obstacles you can put in front of people, the more people you'll get to sign up. And I usually also remove the email privacy. You can keep that at that there if you want to. And this one. And now if you want to edit your header, you can click here and then put in some text. Then we can center it, click save. And once you've got your web form looking the way you want it to, click save and go to step two, which is settings. And no one will see your form name, so it can be anything. I just put in test form. And the thank you page is the page people see when they filled in your form. So you can preview them here. And if you want to, you can use a custom page. But if again, if you're just starting out, I'd use just the basic version. And the same thing here and the advanced settings i never touch those so don't worry about them click save and go to step three so now your web form is ready and you want to install it on your blog so click i will install my form and then make sure the javascript snippet is highlighted so you get this kind this code here it should start with script and end with script so highlight it right click copy and then what i'll do is go to my wordpress blog there and so what you do is you log into your dashboard you go to appearance and then to widgets and then find the text widget which is here and i'm just going to drag and drop that into the sidebar here the title could be newsletter and then what you do is you paste the code in here and you hit save. Now I'm not going to do that because it's going to go live on my blog. But once you've done that, your Aweber web form will appear in your sidebar and you'll be good to go and people can start signing up to your newsletter. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below.